listen to me now Gonna say it loud Don't get it twisted What we're talking about Hey y'all It's me Back with another video So Someone asked me to do a altar, uh, an easy altar setup. So, um, that's what we're going to do today. So, usually on my altar, I like to have uh, fresh flowers. Um, if it's on a working altar, I didn't have any uh, fresh flowers today but this plant is alive you can see the root system there in water so this is alive these are not uh fake uh plants on my altar if i'm gonna do uh plants or flowers i don't want them to be fake i want them to be alive so uh this plant is standing in as uh, flowers and this is a um, a working this is going to represent a working altar for Oshun so the cover is uh, yellow if you don't have yellow you can use white but I have this uh, pretty yellow um, scarf wrap whatever you want to call it so I put that on there of course, my uh, Juju baby, you have seen her before in videos. These are two statues that I just really like. They are always on um, my altar. And of course, my Oshun um, love jar and my Oshun candle. Nothing is lit because I'm not working. We're just showing you um this is a candle if you are in a position where you can't light a real candle i do use these little um fake votive um candles so i just put that there as an option and of course the crystals that i have for, I use these for love, magic, um, healing. This one has a title on it. I have some Kauri shells, a Makata. I don't have one for Oshun, but this one is for Obatala. And it is very powerful. The Makata has a Kauri shell. Um, it is beaded and on the inside are herbs and things for um the orishas for the orisha obatala so i usually have that on um a working altar now this is a, a mojo bag that i just crocheted for oshun and this has some money this is a money drawn spell and it has the herbs that I'm using for this particular spell. You can see that it does have a bay leaf in it and some rose petals. And then the rest is the blend that I use for my spells. So this is being charged. So when I do, you know, light this altar up, I'm going to charge that. And I would have paper and a pen, and you need your paper to write your petition. You know, whatever you are asking Oshun to do for you, I usually like to write that on a, you know, I do like pretty paper. So you would write your petition here, and then you would, you know, fold your petition if you don't want people to see what you wrote. You could fold your petition. I'm doing all this with one hand, y'all. I'm holding the camera, so, you know, be a little patient. You could, you know, 
fold your petition and put your crystals on top of it that have already been charged now I have a notebook here also and in your notebook you can write how you're feeling while you're you know going through your spell you can keep a notebook for your spells you know whatever you want to put a notebook is nice to have you can you know journal your feelings while you're sitting at, the, at your altar when you're sitting here meditating you can you know write down if you're getting uh, messages from the spirits or whatever now this altar is completely different from what you would set up if you want to honor your ancestors this is excuse me this is more of a working altar this is if you are you know asking Oshun for something if you're wanting Oshun to uh, strengthen your relationship or you're you know you're looking for a relationship you're looking for a partner or something like that this would be more of that type of situation this is not an um, ancestor um, altar and we can talk about you know that type of altar later on now if you don't want to do it you know specifically for Oshun that would be easy also you would just remove you could remove this and just put a plain candle hold on you could just put a plain white candle or whatever candle you have if you don't have an Oshun jar remove that use what you have okay if all you have is a candle and a couple crystals and maybe a nice plant if that's all you have for now then use that mostly all of us have crystals we have candles we have incense I left the incense off I didn't bring my incense burner but you can also uh, use a uh, incense burner you can put your incense and have your incense burning also while you are um working at your altar and this is an altar that can just stay prepared like this you know until you decide to do something else because my um altar is not always oh let me show y'all that i made those my altar is not um, always just set for um, Oshun because you know I do work with other Orishas. Oshun is not the only Orisha that I work for work with and so sometimes I do um, change things up but I just wanted to uh, show you what a those are my glasses if you're wondering I just wanted to show you what a um, how simple it is to set up a working altar don't think that you have to go out and buy a whole lot of expensive um items you know you don't have to do that use what you have start working you know put a cloth down if you don't have a you know a colorful uh, cloth like this one you can get a white cloth and put that down if you you know you really don't have a cloth at all it's okay to just put your can this is one of those little folding uh dinner trays you know the little dinner trays that that you can you know like eat in front of the tv with this is one of those so just use what you have you know you don't have to go out and buy a whole lot of expensive um items to go on your altar use what you have and just get busy okay so that's it that is my ocean altar and i got that candle from the dollar store in crystals i have purchased this is actually an alabaster um 
heart. And I know alabaster is one of the stones that um I guess the the woman gave to Jesus and he you know was so grateful that he blessed her but alabaster is talked about a lot in the Bible you can you know uh google alabaster and it will you know the story will come up so they said that um when I purchased this it said that these stones are used for love. It's a very, very powerful, beautiful stone that I've had probably over 10 years. As a matter of fact, I have one and I think they came two in a pack or something. It was it was a real interesting. The story came with it and everything. So I have one and my best friend, um, she has one also. So yeah, I've had that for a while. So that's it. Okay, you guys, if you have any questions, uh, make sure you put them in the comments. I will be more than happy to answer. But this is just one of the altars that I have. And I will see you guys later. I love you. Bye. For the money, it's you for the show. Don't play me, honey. This is how we go. Oh.